believing this is real. I need this in my body right now. That looks so good. I guess we all woke up craving the same thing because that's the line for the sandwich that I want. But I'm not leaving without it. That line took 20 minutes to get through and I got a little chip and they said they'll call my name but I'm seeing people waiting for their food that have been here since I got here and they were in the front of the line so I think they're really backed up but I got nowhere to be. There it is. Waited 30 minutes for this for cheese and bread, the two things my doctor says I really should not eat. I got the salami one. I kind of wanted the ham, but the girl said the salami's better, so I just trusted her. But, um, there we go. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I think there needs to be more meat, though. Literally, like, one little piece. Very good. There's also onions in Dijon. I just got to that part and it made it 10 times better. Yeah. It? Last time Alex and I were here, we saw this whole apple cider thing. And I, I wanted to try a donut and the apple cider. And I'm thirsty right now and I want something sweet, so double whammy. The lines everywhere though are crazy. It is Sunday, so I guess people are like able to come and be here all day. The way he's just shoveling it with a small pan into a big pot. Yum. They probably smell so good after work. Hi. Can I do a small apple cider and then two apple cider donuts? Alright, let's try these. It's really good. But it just tastes like a cinnamon donut. Maybe with this, it brings out the apple or something. Oh my god. Sorry. Oh my god. Hmm. I don't think I've ever had hot apple cider before. This is so fucking good. I could drink this every day, year round. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's moments like this that make me like Christmas time more. I knew that when I moved to the East Coast with things like winter markets and stuff like this, it would make me enjoy it so much more. And it already has. And it's the first week of December. The fact I love it here. <laughs> the fact that I'm actually bundled up because I'm actually cold and I'm not just doing it for a fashion statement or to like feel Christmassy and like this is warming up my soul makes me want to watch a rom-com and I don't even like rom-com I get it now it just clicked I'm home and I'm eating the rest I microwaved it so it's softer which is nice and then I added garlic olive oil and pepper it's so much better like they need to make it that way mm. today's Sunday 
Sundays are usually really lazy like this for me. Alex too, she's out on the couch. I'm just like chilling in bed. So I feel kind of silly doing Vlogmas on Sundays because the vlogs are most likely going to be like this, but maybe you're having a chill Sunday too. We could chill together. Want a bite? Here it comes. I'm not going to touch my lens because it's already so dirty. Someone wants a bite. I'll give you... Here. There you go. I fell asleep with that sandwich on my chest. I'm surprised that she didn't crawl up to me and eat it while I was sleeping. But, um, I regret that. But I think that sandwich put me into a food coma and I fell asleep. But I hate taking naps in the middle of the day because, like, I'll be tired for the next, like, hour and then I'm going to get a second wind, which is bad because it's already 8 at night and I'm going to be wired. But, um, that's okay because... It's 7.53 at 8. We have a Zoom call with our heliteer, so I need to wake up anyway. Link, stop eating your foot. Stop eating your foot. Link, the people want more of you. She hates the camera. Like, she literally knows. Look at that. She knows. <laughs> Look at oh, You're so dramatic. Give me your belly. Well, this is all the Link you're getting today. She's sassy. <laughs> Look at the sass. No, don't leave. Please, I love you. You stink. Oh my god, I literally have sharp pains in my stomach from that fucking cheese. Ready, say hi. Okay, <laughs> look at this kitten, guys. This, we don't have a name yet. We we are all the parents of this child. <laughs> um, she found her on a rainy day outside and brought her in. Is like totally rehabilitating her back to life. So... Oh, you're an angel. Oh, this is looking at a camera, baby. Good job, baby. <laughs> yeah. Just got off that Zoom call and uh, crimped my hair while I was doing it. It made made my hair look so fried, but I promise it's not. It's just the crimping made my hair weird. Anyway, when we were on the Zoom, Shaylin was like, I really enjoy when in vlogs, people show like the behind the scenes of thumbnails being made. So Alex is about to make the thumbnail for advice. And I know you guys have seen me make thumbnails before, but Alex does it way different. Cause like, she's actually like does this stuff for a living. So like she uses what do you use? Photoshop. Photoshop and like knows what she's doing. Well. So we take a full video of us like doing different poses. Screenshot. Snapshot. Snapshot. They're really awkward to film. Let's go. Yeah. Make the funniest faces. When I'm focusing, yeah. you know. Like I, I don't notice until I watch it back. So now she brings it in and has this like same template. Right, like you. This is the one, like one of the first ones you've done. Yeah. And you just what, go in. What's this cute little tool called? This is called the magic wand tool. You click it. You couldn't have thought of a better <laughs> name. Right. It's very Hogwarts. rudimentary. Select subject. And like, if it's a clean cut background, it's usually a lot cleaner. But like, since the lighting is pretty subtle or like pretty contrasting. Yeah. Um, subdued, I guess. I have to go in and I use the lasso tool. Yeehaw! And I just like go crazy, you know? Her eyes are closed while she's doing this. Yeah, I'm not even looking. What are we calling this? Social media and relationships. Social media. Social media versus relationships. Um, social media in relationships. In, in, yeah, it needs to be like a medley. So I like in more. So, um, um, or should we go like how social media affects relationships? Yeah, I was going to say like go like more of a sentence. How social media. Affect or effect? Affects, right? Cause and effect. Yeah. I don't know. That, why does that feel wrong? I think it's effects. An effect is something. I'm so I'm so bad social at that. Social media affects something. How social media affects. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. No, I was literally like, ooh, I got a good one. <laughs> <laughs> 
good. I'm such an idiot. It's kind of long, but I like it. I think it's fine. That's good. I think it's fine. Because we've done two lines before. Right. Uh, a lot of our recent ones have been two lines. And here is the final thumbnail. It's been like, what time is it? It's been like two hours. I went to CVS and I got some Epsom salts. I took like an hour and a half bath. It was so nice, much needed. I feel like this time of the year baths are like so much better cause it's so cozy in there. And then I go to bed and like my internal temperature is so warm right now. Not the Ray Dunn mug, really exposing myself. This one's cute though. Namaste. It's bone broth too. I'm on a bone broth kick right now. It's so good for you. Like if you're interested, read up on it. Bone broth has so many good properties. Anyway, I'm about to upload the podcast and then probably go to bed because it's already kind of late. I know I shouldn't apologize because a lot of you guys leave really, really nice comments saying like, Kristen, don't worry about if the vlog isn't like always doing something crazy. Like we're just happy to watch you. I genuinely love and appreciate those comments, but I am sorry that today's vlog was kind of boring. I like went out for a little bit, but I'm telling you for the most part, I did nothing. And Sundays are just kind of like that for me. I've, I've learned that I need that a lot to have, to like set myself up for a good week is like, it's almost like I need to get all my laziness out one day so that the rest of the week I'm like, nope, you had one lazy day. Like you sat in bed all day or sat on the couch all day and like ate snacks and just like, sat on your phone, whatever. If I don't have that on Sundays, I notice that like I still need it. So like I'll, I'll have a shitty Monday or a shitty Tuesday and none of that for Vlogmas. So picking back up tomorrow, I actually have no idea what I'm doing tomorrow, but I'll figure it out. This is my reality though. That's what Vlogmas is about, I guess, right? You guys are just getting a peek into every day of my life of December. And I feel like shit from that sandwich. Ugh. that was not worth it. Like every minute that's gone by since I've eaten it, it's even more not worth it. If you're dairy or gluten intolerant, zero out of 10 would not recommend eating that, but you probably already knew that. It just looks so good. And I saw it all over TikTok and I was like, I have to get it. And it was $17, $17 I will never get back. And now I'm just gonna be like, my stomach's gonna be screwed the next four days, watch. Your fault. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go to bed. Um, by the time you see this, episode 15 of Advice will be out too. How social media affects relationships. Great episode. A lot of humor in it, but also some like actually really good takeaways. So I hope you guys like it. Ta-ta for now. We'll see you tomorrow.